What's happening everyone? It's been a while since I uploaded anything on here, uh, so I thought I'd show a sign of life and tell you a little bit about what's been going on lately. So the video you're about to see was originally intended to be a Patreon exclusive video and I already uploaded it on my Patreon page a couple of months ago. As the title explains, it's about how I generally work as a session musician and uh, since I recently had the opportunity to record an album for another band, I thought it'd be kind of interesting for my patrons to see how this whole process looks like. Well, a few of my patrons approached me after I uploaded the video on Patreon and uh, they suggested that I should maybe consider to upload this video publicly to everyone so that more people can see it and maybe benefit from it. There were of course some other reasons, but that was the main reason, so to say. I was kind of divided at first if I should or shouldn't do that. I mean, as I said, it was intended to be an exclusive uh, Patreon video and uh, it feels kind of weird uh, to have something on there uh, declared as a bonus content and then uh, later on make it publicly anyway. But as you see, I've decided to make it public and one more reason for that is also to explain why it's been so silent here lately. And since I'm referring to some things that I've already been talking to my patrons about in the past for a longer time, but I've not been talking about publicly, um, I'm gonna give you some background information on the situation right now. So sadly, the days of this studio are over. For the last few months I've been having a lot of trouble with my landlord who's making it more or less impossible for me to get in here and record anything at all. He's for example restricting the times so I can't uh, record Monday to Friday after 6 p.m. and not at all on the weekends so that makes it kind of impossible to schedule any projects uh, alongside my main job to get in here and get anything done. At the same time he raised the rent to a ridiculous amount and uh, whenever I do manage to squeeze in some time to get here and record anything uh, he accidentally uh, cuts the electricity and all kinds of other stuff so yeah it makes not even sense to to, to try and do anything here anymore. So I'm kind of forced to look for a new studio and I already found one but it's a big pain in the ass to rebuild everything because uh, yeah that's a whole nother story but uh, for the last three or four months I'm using every free minute that I have to uh, work on the room and rebuild everything and yeah hopefully I get the new studio up and running in the very near future uh, so that I can finally record some music again. As you might imagine, this is far from being a cheap project, so of course uh, the request for recording this album came just in the right time. Yeah, at this point I want to say thank you to all my patrons who are such a tremendous help and support and yeah you guys are truly amazing and without you i doubt that this whole new studio will be running anytime soon so yeah thank you so much uh, for everything you do you're also a very awesome community and i really like to interact with all of you i've been showing the whole process of how the new studio is taking shape on my patreon page so if you consider to maybe check that out and maybe even become a patron yourself, that would be very much appreciated, of course. Anyway, enough of this whole pre-talk. Here you go with the video of how I work as a session musician. Hey guys, what's going on? So a very, very spontaneous video right now. Um, as you know, things are getting really wild and really uh, unbearable. Uh, in the studio right now so uh, yeah as I told you uh, I cannot even record as I want it's such a hassle to make uh, plans and planning everything uh, to make a schedule when I can record and uh, all that so yeah my main priority uh, right now is really to get the new studio up and running as fast as I can but uh, as I told you, uh, materials, for example, are so insanely expensive right now. Uh, yeah, I showed you the pictures of the of the woods uh, for the floor that I bought uh, and uh, the, how insanely expensive that was. Yeah, so I already sold a couple of guitars actually and some other equipment, which was uh, quite kind of painful 
to be honest. Um, but uh, yeah, I try to uh, raise some money in uh, different ways and you guys are such a big support for that. So thank you very much uh, for supporting me. And uh, yeah, uh, it just so happens uh, that as you might know, I especially in the past i did that more than right now uh, i did session work as a musician for other bands for example um, of course right now uh, live music is not such a big topic uh, but recording albums for example and uh, it just so happens that a guy contacted me um, or a band contacted me and with the guy i already worked in, with in the past uh, i recorded his solo album uh, i recorded the drums uh, for him there so I knew kind of what to expect uh, music-wise. Um, so yeah, we discussed it a little bit. I think I already mentioned it uh, in the past that uh, I tend to be a little picky about the session jobs uh, that I do, uh, that I really uh, only agree to uh, record something uh, where I like the music myself. So we talked a little bit about uh, what they were expecting, what their ideas were, um, and for my understanding it looks like this, uh, that they have a drummer actually in the band, uh, but he became sick and uh, they have a contract with a record label and they want to release the album in this spring. So uh, yeah, time is not on their side, so they need to deliver the recorded album um, quite soon and that's why uh, he asked me if I could uh, do that. Uh, so this is gonna be a very very uh, quick uh, project uh, with not too much time to prepare for all that uh, but yeah I like challenges and uh, I thought um, yeah I take you along with me to show you how that actually works. So I listened to all the tracks and uh, I really like the album so it sounds really cool so I'm definitely up for uh, recording that. We just talked about all the conditions and uh, how long I'm gonna need uh, for uh, delivering the finished recordings. So we agreed that I'm gonna record it uh, next week already. So uh, yeah, I've got a couple of days to learn all the songs, to prepare uh, the, the recordings. And uh, one thing that's always very important if you record for an album is uh, of course having a very good sound quality. So uh, I always insist of uh, getting a complete a new set of drum heads uh, because when drum heads are old, they sound like shit and uh, you want good sound for that, of course. So right after uh, agreeing on all the conditions, I immediately uh, ordered uh, a set of new drum heads. Um, so hopefully those are gonna arrive in the next two or three days, uh, so I can put them on. And I'm gonna use uh, that time uh, to try to learn all the songs. It's uh, seven tracks in total. Um, as best as I can. Of course, uh, it's very different to um, when I would have much more time uh, because then I can really uh, put much more time into learning the songs. Uh, so yeah, we have to see uh, how that goes, get, a, get kind of creative with that. Uh, but yeah, I'm very optimistic that this is gonna work out. So my plan right now is uh, in the next two uh, or two, three days to listen to the songs, learning the arrangement, uh, preparing on the computer the, the recording tracks already uh, as good as I can. For example, like preparing click tracks and stuff like that. That was actually something very, very useful that they, the band already work uh, really professional and they were able to send me individual tracks like uh, only the guitars, only vocals, uh, only the pre-programmed drums. Uh, so that makes it much, much easier for me to learn all the songs. Um, then I'm gonna make uh, some cheat sheets uh, and uh, learn all the songs on my electronic drum kit here. And then whenever I go to the uh, studio, then see how it works out on the real drums and basically immediately start uh, with the actual recordings. So today is already kind of late. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, take the album and listen to it two or three times uh, just like that with nothing. I mean, I talked about that, how I learn songs for my video recordings uh, when I make uh, cover videos, for example. So that's pretty similar, actually, uh, if you record for other bands. Uh, it's basically a cover. Um, so yeah, it's the basically the very, very similar process to that. 
All right, so I prepared the project here in Reaper. Uh, I like to do, when doing stuff like this, I like to do it everything in one project. So uh, these are all the individual songs. So song one, two, three, up to seven. Uh, so therefore I save some time because I don't have to load every single song as a project and can work uh, however I like later in the studio. Uh, so uh, these all are the individual um, pre-production tracks that uh, they sent me. So this is for example only the drums and only guitars and stuff like that. So that's very useful uh, when I like to hear uh, what they really expect or what they thought uh, would go there if there's like tricky grooves or something like that. But they told me that I have some freedom to uh, be creative and uh, do stuff on my own, of course. Yeah, up here, uh, everything that's orange, uh, those are the drum tracks uh, where I'm gonna record that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is go through every uh, single song uh, listen to them and uh, prepare a cheat sheet um, doing it very very simple and uh, no notation or anything like that so only writing for example blast on the hi-hat, blast on right, double bass with snare on two and four and all that stuff. Keeping it very simple and very quick uh, only so that I can uh, look to the side and uh, look on my notes uh, whenever I play the songs. All right, now I have all the tracks written down here. Um, so to make things even easier for me, because as I said, there's not so much time to learn everything perfectly. Uh, and I've actually talked about that in that uh, in-ear video that I uh, recently uploaded. Um, so I'm gonna record a guide track where I'm gonna tell myself what's, uh, what I have to play next. Uh, so just reading basically out loud uh, what my notes are here uh, so I don't have to look every time uh, on my cheat sheet and uh, Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now Double bass snare fear Blast hi-hat Double bass snare fear Break so yeah, as you see, really just the very basic thing. So it's not like uh, teaching myself the entire song over my ear. So it's just indicating now comes the blast beat on the hi-hat or on the right or the double bass part with the snare on the four or whatever. So really basic uh, things, but it helps a lot um, to not have to record over and over and over again. Uh, as you know me, I like to nail everything if possible on the first take and it saves a lot of time so uh, basically that's the idea behind it. Alright so all the drummets are here uh, they are the exact same brand and model that I've been using for many, many years. So I know exactly what kind of sound I can expect to get from them. Um, of course, you can tune a drum kit uh, by ear, but I always use a drum tuner uh, because it's just so much more precise and it saves a little bit of time, although it's still such a time consuming process to change all the drum heads of an entire drum kit. So let's fast forward through that and check out what it sounds like. So first of all I removed all the drum mics since they are attached to each individual drum and then I could take each drum off of the kit and replace the heads much easier than on the kit itself. Then right away I roughly tuned the drum with the tuner before attaching it back to the kit again and continue with the next drum. But just as with new guitar strings for example, new drum heads need to be stretched to stay in tune. So once all the heads are changed and all drums are back in place, I stretch all heads again by hand and retune the entire kit again. Because the last thing you want when recording is that the kit starts to detune and therefore sounds different in every song. Here you can see how dirty and beaten up the old heads look like. I mean, they're still probably okay for like rehearsals and stuff like that. And most likely in every venue with a rental kit you've seen drum heads in way worse conditions than these are. Now in comparison, just look at these new, clean, beautiful drum heads. 
I mean, it's just a pleasure to the eyes and the ears, of course. All right, so after changing the drum heads yesterday, I just uh, finished going over all the heads and uh, retuning everything, seeing if everything is set the way I like it at least, uh, checking out the microphones and everything like that. So the plan for today is uh, that I'm gonna record uh, one song actually and sending the band uh, all the tracks for that one song uh, so they can get an idea of how the drum sound is gonna be. Um, so in order to uh, make some changes before recording the entire album, uh, they can uh, tell me like for example position the, the mics uh, differently and stuff like that. Um, so uh, that's gonna be just one rough recording of one song uh, and uh, but still I'm gonna go over all songs today for myself because of course uh, practicing everything on the e-drum uh, does not translate 100% to the real drum kit for example I have the second hi-hat here and I'm thinking about playing all the blast beats on on that hi-hat for example so it's like different movements and stuff like that so I will have to go over over all the breaks and all the little details. Uh, I've got the, the bell right here, so I can do some fancy stuff uh, between right and bell. Um, that's just a couple of ideas, but that's gonna be what I'm gonna do today. Go over all the songs and prepare even better for tomorrow when I'm gonna start the actual recordings. Of course, in order to do that, I have to send the files this evening quickly so they can tell me by tomorrow in the morning if everything's okay or I have to readjust something. So yeah, let's not waste any time and get right into drumming here. Okay, time for a little break now. Uh, I actually took a day of work today to get in here very, very early and get done as much as possible. Um, so one thing that's very, very important um, to me at least uh, when working inside the studio for eight hours or longer like today is to actually take some breaks. Um, and yeah, I'm a, a thing that's very, very important to me uh, and I could not work in here without is actually my microwave. Uh, so yeah, I'm preparing here some uh, food that I pre-prepared uh, yesterday. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's gonna be, so it's really like to get off, to, to empty a little bit the head uh, and get back on track because otherwise, I mean, maybe if you're a mus musician yourself, maybe you've noticed stuff like that, that uh, you practice something, you know what to play and then you press record and everything is gone. And this builds up over time uh, when you're recording like nonstop. Uh, so it's very important uh, to just take a break for uh, let's say like at least 30 minutes just sit there and um, don't even bother to go over the songs or anything like that I think it's really really important to to actually uh, distract your mind and and do something completely different um, in order to get back on the set uh, fresh basically so as I said I like to take like a at least 30 minute break or so uh, to let my head breathe a little bit again after a couple of hours of work. Uh, so uh, yeah, most of the times I just sit here on the couch. I have the stand where I attach my phone to because I don't like to listen to music or think about the songs or anything like that. I try to distract myself completely from all that. So maybe I put on some Netflix or anything like that. So nothing, nothing heavy to digest or so. So just something easy. Uh, to, to really relax a little bit here. Got my food here, so I'm gonna eat that. 
just uh, sit here and relax a little bit for 30 minutes, 40 minutes or something like that. And then continue uh, working for the next at least three hours, sometimes four. And yeah, depending on how I feel like, uh, take a little break then again. Uh, so these are what really long days in the studio look for me. And then of course, some energy <laughs> to make the days even longer. All right, recording day three and three more songs to go. That's it for today. Um, I think there's only one day of recording left. Uh, so I'm gonna prepare now everything for tomorrow because the guys uh, actually want a video recording of one specific song. So that's gonna be the last one that I'm gonna do tomorrow. And uh, therefore I'm gonna set up the camera, cameras in plural actually, uh, what I've thought and uh, yeah get getting everything ready so i just have to come back here tomorrow and record the last song with the video and that's it everything is set up for the video recording tomorrow uh, i think it's a little overkill maybe uh, they asked me to like basically just let one camera rolling while i record uh, that one specific song but I always like to over deliver. I think that's much more professional. Uh, for example, if you have a deadline and you can't do it, then instead of, for example, delivering two days late, uh, deliver two days early, for example. So instead of giving them one camera angle, I decided to give them eight. <laughs> so if they can use it, uh, good for them. And it didn't, uh, didn't hurt me. It's not like too much trouble or anything. And for me, it's also good because I can try out some new camera angles as well. And as you know, I like to do that. Um, so yeah, let me, quickly go over uh, what we have here so uh, yeah I just have all these lights around here uh, so everything is lit up from from all angles and back here you can see I have these lights to illuminate the the rest of the room because otherwise it would look a little too dark I think and it's always easier to make everything dark in post so uh, yeah under the bell here I have this uh, action cam uh, I used to have it over the bell in the last few videos but this one looked kind of cool as well uh, and this one is new as well so here I have another action camera um, right above the second hi-hat so this will be interesting how that looks and I think I'm gonna use it in other videos as well so uh, down here we have one foot cam it's a really really old action cam uh, GoPro Hero 2 uh, and another light so that you can actually see the feet and then down here under the drum throne is another uh, very very old GoPro I think that was the first GoPro that I bought and I don't want to sell it because uh, it's not worth anything anymore uh, so that you can see the feet here uh, up here oh wait let's see this one this is the the ceiling camera it's also another GoPro mounted on this on this arm here and that always looks kind of cool because you can see the the entire kit from above then here over the right symbol there's uh, this cam with a very wide angle lens and back here another camera and the last cam actually is gonna be here but that's the one that I'm filming with right now so yeah that's basically the setup um, yeah I'm looking forward to tomorrow that's gonna be the last day of recording and then this project is done <laughs>
All right, that's it. So uh, the tracks are uploading right now as I speak, uh, so I can uh, send them to the to the band uh, in a bit. And uh, yeah, from here on, I'm looking forward to the actual finished album whenever they are done with mixing it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep you updated uh, when it's coming out and when you can uh, listen some finished uh, tracks because yeah, as I said, uh, in the beginning that I really like uh, how the album sounds, at least from the pre-production. And uh, yeah, it was quite an experience uh, doing this in such really short time uh, for this thing. But uh, yeah, I'm satisfied with how everything turned out so far. And I hope you like this kind of uh, video of uh, seeing how this works. As I said, it's not the normal thing that everything is in such short time. Uh, but yeah, challenges uh, let us grow. So that's everything from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, of course, let me know. And uh, yeah, take care. I see you in the next one. Bye, guys.